Hello guys, I'm Hadrian Farad, bass player, French, blonde, a little buff, whatever. And uh, I started the bass, I started playing the bass at age nine, I think. So it must have been uh, 1994 or something like that, so it's been quite a while. And uh, I'm still struggling to play the Ionian mode. Sometimes I confuse with the Dorian mode, so... So I do mixes of both. <laughs> That's it. And my first amplifier, I guess my dad, when I was, you know, I was about 11, bought me a mini PV, I believe. I don't even know the model, but it's still around. Actually, I still have it some, somewhere. Um, and uh, it's uh, symbolic, you know. I keep it. I'm going to keep it till the end. I like it. It's a little dusty, but it works. Um, my highlights, I have to say, I mean, in, in terms of like, um, I, th I think that must have been discovering, you know, what is, uh, the music industry, like in terms of like showing up at the clubs, you know, as a young 17 year old and my, you know, attempting my first jam sessions, maybe. And I think that's when I was the most excited ever, you know, I, I have to say, you know, the, the, it was the beginning and it, it was full of, uh, it was a land, an, a known kind of, you know, it's a pretty scary too, obviously. So I couldn't wait. I mean, I was, you know, I couldn't wait to, to be at night and start going in the clubs and, and to try out what I've worked on and uh, just actually just play with other musicians you know uh, and later on when uh, I become a little more you know accomplished I I will have to go with the first time I got the call from John McLaughlin that was um, yeah uh, consécration as we say in French um, because I have been growing up listening to to him and the likes of John you know like all those all these cats uh chick korea and uh, you know weather report return to forever and mavish new and and later on the heart of things with a uh, you know uh you know all that so so yeah these were my first how would you say big emotions <laughs> i don't know yeah And in terms of my, uh, you know, very important collaborations in my career, um, it's actually a tough question. There are so many of them. And it started in France when, uh, you know, I, uh, I got to, to become friends with the likes of uh, Jean-Pierre Como and uh, Jean-Marie Ecai and Sylvain Luc and Birelli Lagraine. Uh, And I started working with them in town, you know, or around France. Um, and, you know, even in Italy, actually, uh, Antonio Farao, you know, that was all before I actually moved to the United States. So this was really important for me. You know, there's a lot of other names I could, you know, I, uh, you know, I could find, but uh, these were the people I really grew up listening to and when I got to play with them at a fairly young age actually I was I felt pretty lucky but it was really exciting and I I still play with them 
to this day. So uh, later on, when I moved to the United States, I, you know, I had already co collaborated with a uh, John McLaughlin and Chick Corea, and then um, I recorded something else with Chick. You know, it's an uh, on a you know an album called uh, the Vigil. Um, that was a great moment as well. Um, very, uh, very, very, you know, smooth in a way. Like yeah, it was pretty easy yeah. at that level. Things are actually not as complicated in terms of uh, relationships as you would think, you know. So it went really smoothly. You just play, and you try to play well, <laughs> and then it, it it'll be okay. Um, and uh, my dear friend uh, Thundercat also is a dear friend of mine. I knew him. I knew him before he was even Thundercat, but he's he's always been Thundercat deep down. Uh, and we started writing songs and having fun and you know going out you know and uh, rolling through town together and uh, just you know just uh, just being a uh, 28 year olds <laughs> having fun and jamming and all that. Um, you know, then you know, there's Dean Brown also. Dean Brown is a such a great musician, and amazing human. Also, I've been playing with him since 2010 or something. We met at NAM. I think, uh, I think we met. I think the first time I played with Dean was actually at the Mark Bass booth. So, actually, I met a lot of my heroes at the Mark Bass booth. I think, <laughs> including you. <laughs> Yeah, so you know there was uh, I'm I'm forgetting some names there. Of course, there was uh, Marcus Miller, who's a hero of mine. The first time I played with him was uh, at that Nam show in 2008, I think, in uh, at the Mark Base. Uh, so we played a little bit, and then we had a little bit of prosciutto, I think, <laughs> back when uh, you guys had the whole deal in the booth. The you know. Parmesan, prosciutto, that was a whole thing. But anyways, yes, uh, Lee Rittenauer, of course. Um, and I'm forgetting names, of course, I'm forgetting names. I had collaborated with Billy Cobham. That was really, really nice, too. Um, these were my main, you know, I guess my main inspirations. Uh, Otmaro, Otmaro Ruiz. I met in LA. All these people, they, this, uh, you know, that was a dream of mine to play with all these people. So they would have to be my best collaboration so far, including some of my friends, you know, some uh, peers too, um, to this day, you know. Uh, Frank and Bali, of course, uh, that I, I started playing with uh, a few years ago. And we are just about to, to go on the tour next year. So that's amazing. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I think I realized I've played with every single guys from the the electric band, Chick Corea's electric band, except John, actually. But uh, yeah, I hope uh, yeah, hope it uh, it'll happen someday. So I've played yeah, I've played uh, Eric. Sometimes we do some gigs in L.A. Eric Mayenthal, uh you know Frank and. Uh, who else? Who was the Dave? Dave Wickel, Osnoy, all those guys, amazing. Uh, Vinny Colayuda, Dennis Chambers, uh, Virgil Donati, you know, all those guys. I'm forgetting some names. <laughs> Sorry about that. The first time. I met you guys. Uh, that I think that has to be uh, back when I was 16, actually in uh, Verona, when I was I signed up for a bass competition. I think, which I remember by the way, uh, Matt Garrison and uh, Pippo Matino and uh, Dario Deida. They were in the they were the judges. I, I I think I remember. So that was a big thing too. It's been over 20 years, I can't believe it. And then we started the uh, collaboration a few years uh, after that, maybe 2006, maybe, 
was it? Yeah. So, wow. And yeah, I, I remember want, really wanting to be a, you know, part of the family because I had tried those amps. I think Linley Mart actually turned me, you know, he, 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 he how do you say, uh, <laughs> put me onto that. And I remember, you know, they were really light and they sounded really punchy and they actually uh, were translating the sound of my bass precisely without coloration, but if anything, the good coloration, like the, you know, the punch, and it was w very warm, and I really much liked that, so I really, I really much wanted to be part of the family, and, uh, and I think the first time it happened was uh, on the John McLaughlin tour, right, I think. Uh, what model am I using? Usually, I'm I'm using any of them. Actually, <laughs> they all sound good. I mean, I, I haven't I haven't to this day seen any. Uh, you know, I, I I typically play on the little Mark III, but any head, any combo, any Mark based pro like product, you know, uh, it, it translates perfectly to what I'm. I'm looking for. I remember using, uh, you know, a couple uh, Jeff Berlin combos on the Hiromi tour, and that was amazing. So, any of them really, but uh, I think my, you know, I just go out of habit with the little Mark III that you gave me, I think, 15 years ago. I, I still have a head that I take, you know, <laughs> to clubs from 15 years ago and it's still working perfectly so it has to be a little mark two actually two or three right little, little mark two yeah so now you have little mark four then all that so well i, I gotta catch up a little bit <laughs> i think bottom line uh it's mark base i think end of the story.